we started is um, like a twen- people in their twenties and thirties. It's just a church movement. So um, it was worship, it was prayer, it was community, it was evangelism. It was just church, but more, I guess, for our generation, more something organic and touchable rather than professional and polished. of artists in various disciplines like music and even like t-shirt design and everything and, and video and we kind of came together to do this project so we consider everybody a part of the collective not just the people who are on the stage but there's more contributors than than it appears sometimes but back at home there isn't really so much of a, a Christian music culture and so it kind of gave us the freedom to just to just go for it and try try things that seemed really really different back in four years ago and and experiment with a lot of different instrumentation and experiment with a different band setup than we'd ever seen before. So I guess it was, it really was an experiment, that's part of our name. The thing that we really love about the, about the Campfire album that we just recorded is that it has a real message for the church. And I guess it's a great picture of what the church can be, meaning that at a campfire, whenever you, whenever you arrive there, you let down your walls a little bit. And in Canadian or American, that's let down the walls a little bit, just in case there was a translation issue. And, uh, you know, we start to get a little bit more vulnerable. You know, we share our stories, we share our songs, we share our lives around that flame. And, and we think that that's a really lovely picture of what the church can be, don't you think? I suppose there's always a pressure in the evangelical culture whenever you have a really a really clear path of what worship looks like. So it looks like it looks like a stage with really nice lighting and it looks like people responding by lifting up their hands and singing power ballads, I suppose. <laughs> um, whenever you've got that as a structure, there's a temptation to just engage with that structure without thinking. So, you know, you just go through those motions and it's another form of religion. It's just a modern form of, of religious expression. But authentic worship differs from that because it has a connection with your real life. That's why we recorded our, you know, our second album was in was in Gareth's home. You know, it's worship that grows up out of real life. You know, there were interruptions to change a light bulb. There were, you know, we built a fence in the middle of it. That's it. There were tea breaks, and that's that's the normal stuff of life, and that and that's where worship should flow from. It's the same with the campfire. It's just another extension of of normality and bringing worship into those places and letting it flow out of those places. You know, we gathered as a, as a church group, as Rand, around the campfire and shared those community times together and we really wanted that to be a part of our music as well. We had to, we had to make sure the generator was really far away and they get really long notes, so we didn't need that noise in the background, but the seagulls, they still made mm-hmm. it on and the campfire and the waves and... And uh, yeah, there was a reason why nobody had done that before. It's wholly inconvenient and extremely difficult to arrange, but totally worth it, is how I would describe it. The reason why I don't open my heart up to certain things, whatever it is, and whatever area in life is, because if I don't feel included, and the gospel is all about inclusion. Jesus didn't come to earth to say who wasn't in the club. He came to the earth saying, there is no club, just follow me. So for us, whenever we're trying to reach people, I would love them to not feel like it's a club that they have to do the right initiation ceremonies on, but they are welcome. And that's not to water down the need for repentance or coming before the cross and giving your life to Jesus. But it's just saying that that's a pretty 
normal, natural thing. It wasn't something that any of us needed special uh, diplomas for to do it. It was just, we came before Jesus and we said, we need you. So for me, it would be the inclusivity. And I think for all of us, that's a big mm. part of our heart. That's it, yeah. I mean, I guess relationship is so vital to any attempt to uh, to try to bring somebody into this lifestyle. It's uh, it's not a it's not a intellectual concept to be uh, to be affirmed or, or for us to agree with that that isn't a way of life that's sustainable uh, and we can't just argue people in it, it has to be a, a community that you're inviting people into and, and giving them a life to live your love for me I'm almost...